that the only thing more unattractive than a woman mother henning a guy is another guy mother henning a guy and that's that that's what i was seeing that's that that's all the the guilt and shame tactics and all the bullshit that goes on it's guys mother henning other guys and and i was noticing it because what was bugging me the most about it is it happened at work it happened at my job we're all there doing our thing in our little morning group meeting kind of thing. It's like group therapy, basically. It's great. Mm -hmm. And right off the bat, you know, I could see management saying like, you know, be careful, be safe, da 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 da, -da because that's their job. They're supposed to say that. But when it's your fellow peers and they're like, okay, guys, today's, you know, New Year's Eve. Tonight, you know, this weekend, we're going to have a long weekend. And so, you know, you guys... Be safe out there and don't drink too much and don't drink and drive. And if you're going to drink, make sure you get a ride and, and all this shit. And I'm just like, and I said it, I was like, I'll do what I want. Don't fucking tell me what to do. <laughs> well, Rob, I yeah. mean, you, you got to look at it from your employer's perspective, too. I mean, your employer is passionate about having a consistent labor force. <laughs> very, yes! Very very passionate about that. <laughs> very passionate about his income earners. That's correct. Yes, they're pa they're passionate about that bottom line. Oh uh, man! Oh, well, watch yourself, kids. Like, remember to uh, look to the left and look to the right when crossing the road. Don't blow right. your fingers right. off. Don't tell Nana she's a absolute c-word. <laughs> Otherwise, oh, the family will get riled up. Well, yeah, you know, and like I said, it's it's unattractive enough when women do that shit. Uh, I had a friend that I, I knew back. I first met him in college, my freshman year of college. Mm -hmm. And this guy, he was, well, he is, not was, but he's my age. But we were like 19, 18 years old back then, okay? Yeah, this was a long time ago. Chesty was probably, I don't know, around the same age. Jack, you weren't even a fucking twinkle in your dad's eye probably. And, and half the motherfuckers in the chat weren't even around at that point. This was like 30 fucking years ago, okay? So anyway, I remember this guy uh, that we're still friends to this day. I, I still talk to him occasionally. We were roommates in college. We got assigned because of uh, alphabetically. It was our last names were close enough that we ended up being roommates, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, he had a girlfriend who was like two years older than him. So when I met him and her, she was probably like 21 or 20, something like that, because we were like 18. And and she was a hottie. I'll give her that, that, you know, the dude could the dude could pick his women as far as the looks wise. She was a good looking woman. Mm -hmm. OK, but I remember we went out one time for dinner and and he's sitting there and he's eating and, and he had a little spot you know he got some mustard or some shit on his face and i remember her sitting there and and she looks at him and she's like honey you know you've you got a spot and he kind of you know tries to get it with his tongue and he doesn't get it well she turns around picks up her napkin fucking like licks the napkin oh. the napkin with her tongue and wipes his face she's like you know come here let me let me do this and 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 fucking wipes his face and right then i i like physically recoiled because i'm like oh my god she's mothering him come to mommy yeah and 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 he totally was like into it you know he's just like you know just kind of leans over to her to let her do it and i'm just like oh and 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 that was the weirdest dynamic i have ever seen because for me i'm like i don't i've, I've had women try to mother me and I'm like, look, yeah. I have a mother. Thank you very much. I don't need another one. You know, My one's more than enough. Oh, I, I fucking hate it. You know, no, I mean, yeah, I me understand too. that they care and all that. I get it, but it's like, dial it back, ladies. Mm -hmm. And like, so to I, me, that is very unattractive. But then when to see a guy more or less do the same fucking thing, mm -hmm. it's like, really? You know, the, like a guy telling another guy, hey, make sure you don't drink and drive tonight or don't drink too much. Don't get hung over. Don't get out of yeah, 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 exactly. You know? <laughs> make sure you wrap it up and practice safe sex. It's like, you know what? I'll do what I want. 
<laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. You know, I a, hearing it from ex, a guy, Jesus Christ. Mm, my ex used to do that. Like every time I did something, like I, I had my finger, I bumped my finger, or I bumped my toe, and I always curse a lot when that happens. And she's well, like, that hurts. Honey, are you okay? Is everything fine? I'm like, yes, I'm not dying. I'm just pissed off. Like, don't worry. Still alive. Like, stop pampering me. And then she got all upset, like, oh, I just tried to help. Like, yes, but I'm an adult. Like, I am a man. Yeah, I, 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 I would think that that uh, mother son dynamic would would put a damper on the passion. I mean, I, you, you I would you think so because it would you, for you me. You really can't feel a sexual passion for your overgrown male child, I guess, in that circumstance. And if you do, I, there might be something. Um, mentally unstable about you yeah they so, like, need to and, and especially for the married guys out there don't don't become one of the kids oh don't god somebody that's, a death sentence. that's a death sentence we need to ask sterling cooper about that like if there's something like uh, that sort of game maybe it can give you some tips like if you yeah. want to be pampered i i really can't do an australian accent so <laughs> i can't do that